Okay, so for LASIK surgery, we ex explain the anatomy of the eye, again, using the iPad, and um, we explain to them LASIK is designed to help you see your best for your age. So the prime demographic for LASIK is the 20 to 40 age group. Those people have the ability to see far and near great without glasses because um, they the younger eye, let's say the 40 and younger eye, has the ability to refocus fairly effortlessly, especially the 20 to 30 year old crowd. LASIK does not make you see younger than your age. So if you have LASIK at age 50 or 60, you're gonna see like a normal 50 or 60 year old, which means you'll see great far away, but you're gonna need reading glasses to see up close. Yeah, LASIK makes you see like you're born normally. It replicates it essentially replicates the vision of a person born with naturally normal vision. LASIK is super accurate. For most patients, we see about a 98% chance that they'll see the best without glasses just on the first pass, on the first try. Nothing is perfect, so we explain to them, oh, there's a 1% to 2% touch-up rate. Those people will still see dramatic improvement in their vision but maybe it's just not as perfect as they want it, so we'll fine tune it. But we generally wait about three months after the initial LASIK surgery to do the fine tune. The fine tune we do charge about one tenth the original surgical fee for their initial fine tune, as long as we do it within the first year. A common question with LASIK is, will, I, will this crack my vision for the rest of my life? No, LASIK makes you see normal for your age and you will keep aging normally thereafter. So let's say you're 25 or 35, we correct your vision, we make you see like a 25 year old or a normal 25 year old or a normal 35 year old, that person will continue to age normally and incur all the gradual degradation of vision associated with the normal aging process. So that 25 year old, by the time they're 50, they're gonna lose their ability to refocus from far to near and they're gonna need reading glasses. Another common question is, is it permanent? Well, because we age, there's about a maybe a 2% chance per year your vision will change enough that you'll become bothered and you'll either need to go back into glasses to fine tune your vision or you'll come back in saying, can we fine tune it? And we can almost always fine tune it and bring you back to normal vision for your age. So what do we do during the screening process? We do a comprehensive, even for, so everybody who comes in for a comprehensive eye exam or a complimentary consultation, we're gonna do a very thorough evaluation of their eyes. Specifically, we're gonna obtain corneal topography, which analyzes the shape of their cornea, cornea thickness, also known as pachymetry. Um, we'll check their refraction, look through the microscope and assess the condition of their eyes to make sure they have no medical conditions that would make them a less than ideal candidate. And then we'll explain to them the, the risks and benefits of surgery, the likelihood of success. So what are the risks? The risks are very few and far between with LASIK, but mainly if you're deemed to be a good candidate by the ophthalmologist, you're gonna have some dryness to your eyes. The dryness is pretty much, most people will have dryness after surgery, but it tends to get better month by month. Usually within three months, the dryness is for the most part not noticeable, but everybody has a slight decrease in tear production which is the mechanism by which we keep our eye surface moist for a, a few months after surgery. And if the person is feeling like their eyes are scratchy or their vision's uh, fluctuating and fuzzy sometimes, we'll say, go ahead and use artificial tears and use them three or four times a day. And that usually helps to offset the dryness from surgery. And month by month, their, eye, their tear production naturally comes back up to normal. And usually within three months, their dry symptoms are not even noticeable. Maybe 1% of patients long-term will notice that their eyes are drier after LASIK surgery. And we can treat those patients with prescription eye drops or various other treatment modalities that we use for dry eye. Nighttime vision after LASIK surgery. It's very normal, but 100% of patients in the first month will see a halo or aura around lights at night. That's due to the swelling in the cornea, which is the target structure that we modify with all laser LASIK. Um, that swelling of the cornea, or what we call corneal edema, will dissipate usually within a month to three months. So by three months, the night vision should be very normal. In fact, this is the same, our technology, all laser LASIK surgery, femtosecond laser for the flap, eczema laser that's wavefront guided for the um, 
the vision correction aspect of the procedure. It's the same technology that is used to correct pilots that are flying fighter jets in the Navy. So it's very proven, very safe. Now the question is, what's the experience like? You come in, we do an exam, we determine if you're a good candidate. We, if you elect to proceed with your surgery, surgery's painless, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes. We give you Valium to relax you, it's a pill. And then we numb your eyes with drops. Surgery's completely painless. You see a little light show, you don't see anything scary. Somebody needs to drive you home the day of surgery because the Valium makes you a little woozy and your vision's a little foggy after surgery. Your eyes may sting for two or three hours after surgery. Usually within three hours, all the stinging's gone and your vision starts to improve. Usually within about eight hours, you're able to uh, do normal activities around the house. Most people will fall asleep on the Valium when they get home after surgery. When they wake up, their vision will be significantly better. The overwhelming majority of people, they can drive themselves in for their follow-up appointment and drive themselves to work or school the day after surgery and perform normally. Vision's typically excellent the first day after surgery and it continues to improve for two to three months following their initial surgery. Finally, what's the wor another common question is what's the worst thing that can happen? There's probably about a one in five to 10,000 chance that they could have a, a bad complication after surgery, but if we, if we step back, there's about a one in five to 10,000 chance that they'll have a naturally occurring bad eye problem that would require surgery that they didn't want to have. So for example, keratoconus is a disease of the cornea. Um, it's, it occurs in about one in 5,000 individuals in the general population. So the, there's about a one in 5,000 chance that after surgery, they'll have a cornea problem that they did not expect to have and it'll, it will require more involved surgery. What's the chance that I'll go blind? It's probably about one in a million. It's very unlikely. I doubt I'll see a blind eye from LASIK surgery in my lifetime. So that's, that's pretty much it. In summary, LASIK is super safe, super accurate. We, uh, we, we devote a lot of energy to making sure that we educate our patients about the process, screen them thoroughly. If, you're, if they're not a good candidate, we'll tell them right up front, you're not a great candidate. We'd rather not do surgery on somebody who's a borderline patient and have them have a problem. We're going to recommend surgery if you're a good candidate, if you're less than an ideal candidate, we're going to dis disclose that to you to make sure you are able to weigh the pros and cons of deciding to undergo elective vision correction surgery. So I hope this information is helpful. Thanks for watching.